In this video we'll continue our discussion of evaluating definite integrals using geometric shapes that we know the areas for or that we have formulas for. And we'll continue with number 27. Here we have the integral from 0 to 2 of the function 2x plus 5. So the first thing that you want to do here is to graph the function 2x plus 5. And we know that 2x plus 5 has a y-intercept of 5 and it has a slope of 2 so it'll go up two units for y for every one unit increase in x. And we just want to go for from x equals 0 to x equals 2. And so I plot a few points and we have this basic graph here. Now the area from x equals 0 to x equals 2 between this curve and the x-axis forms a trapezoid. And you may recall that the area of a trapezoid which can be written in many different ways, but I'll write it as the height over 2 times the sum of the bases b1 and b2. Now in this case, our trapezoid is not the same as the trapezoid we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing trapezoids where the para para parallel bases are horizontal lines, and the height is the perpendicular distance between the pair of parallel bases. Well, in our case, our height is going to be a horizontal line. And the parallel bases will actually be vertical, so they're kind of like heights, but they're still considered to be bases. So in this case, base 1 is 5 and base 2 is 9. But that's all there really is to it, and we're going to plug in h equals 2. So we get 2 over 2 times the quantity 5 plus 9, so that's 1 times 14, or just 14. Once again, I'll step through using the graphing calculator. We'll put in the function 2x plus 5. Go to the graph of that. Then second trace or calc option number 7, which is the integral from 0, enter, 2, enter, and we see we get the value of 14 there. And we'll go back to the method we used before. Now I can continue to use the last thing that I typed in because my y1 has been changed now but it doesn't matter and I just want to go from 0 to 2 and I get 14 that way also. So I'll go on to another example and this time example 29. We want the integral from negative 1 to 1 of 1 minus absolute value of x. Well absolute value of x you know makes the v-shape and absolute value of x plus 1 would shift it upwards. But now we're going to flip the absolute value and then shift it up. And we end up with a shape that looks like instead of having just the negative of the absolute value of x, we're now going to add 1 to that. And that shifts the whole curve up by 1. And you can see that that will have a vertex of 0, 1 and x-intercepts of negative 1, 0 and 1, 0. So remember what we're interested in here is only the area between the curve and the x-axis. So in this case, it would only be the area in between negative 1 and 1, x equals negative 1 and 1, and beneath the curve and above the x-axis. So you can see that that just makes a triangular shape with a base of 2 and a height of 1. Our area is 1 half base height, the base is 2, and the height is 1, and so we will get an area of 1. So I'll graph this one really quickly. It's 1 minus the absolute value is under the math key, sorry, over at number, option 1, absolute value of x. So we have 1 minus absolute value of x. We go to graph that, and then we're going to second and trace, option 7, my lower limit is negative 1, the upper limit is positive 1, it graphs it in at 1. And just real quick, we'll go back outside and second enter brings up this. Now I want to go from negative 1, comma, positive 1, and, and we get a value of 1 again. <coughs> So hopefully this shows you how to use your graphing calculator to confirm your results and also how to set up these um, shapes with known geometric areas. And I'll continue with the last one in the next video.